Great Caesar's ghost, Batman. There's a Joker. What you are, chum? Now it's curtains for you, clown. Well, if it's in a bat brain and the boy blunder, give me your words. <laughs> All right, Robin, go get him. I'll be right behind you. Charming, Batman. You know what? What if we, uh, actually, what if we change things up? You know, a little well, bit. Uh, you know, what? Uh, what if you went in first, then, then, and then I came behind you, you know? I mean, he's your arch nemesis. Robin, is it really necessary to do this right now? Well, maybe I just want to try something new. Well, why fix what is hey, broken? Are, are we doing this or yeah, what? Yeah, just, just hold on a second. Robin, what is this all about? Well, I've been talking to the Team Titans lately, and they're telling me I need to start to stand up for myself. Stand up against what exactly? You think I'm mistreating you somehow? Well, kind of. I mean, like this, for instance. Why am I the one going in first? You're the big bad Batman. Well, how else are you going to learn, Robin? Learn what? How to walk with a limp? Look, Robin, you are never in that much danger. I'm always here. Actually, let's talk about that, because you're always wearing black. You fade into the shadow. You're gone. Whereas I'm here wearing green, red, and yellow. I might as well just wear a shirt that says shoot me. Oh, don't be like that, Robin. Your, your suit fits you like, you yeah, know, yeah, like, yeah, like, like, like a, a Robin. Robin. Like a Robin. Yeah, yeah, but how many Robins do you know wear Speedos and fucking Peter Pan shoes? And I've been wearing these for years. I, I mean, do you even know how old I am? Of course I do, Robin. You're like my son. You're like four... Fi- tw- you're, you're within teenage range. I'm 25. Oh, God. Yeah, the boy's charm is starting to wear off. Now I just look like a pervert. Hey, should I really be here for this? Oh, my, listen, Robert, we can negotiate changing the suit. That's that's 100% fine. Oh, I'm not done. Uh, next, I want to talk about this whole Batgirl situation. What's wrong with Batgirl? Well, I don't know. I just didn't realize that we became the fucking tremendous trio Robert, all of a sudden. Not, you're not being replaced. I'm not even going to talk about how the fact she got her own suit right off the bat. Like, but, you know, what the fuck? But listen, we're the dynamic duo, all right? That's what's on the lunchboxes. That's how it's going to be, all right? Uh, uh, all right, Robin. Let's back go on our adventures, all right? That's, that's, we can work that out. Now, is that done? Are we good now? Is there anything else that you want? I want a gun. Uh, uh, what? You heard me. I want a gun. Robin, you're, you're not getting a gun, all right? That goes against everything I stand Robin, for. you have an entire utility belt of tools, of batarangs, of smoke bombs. What do I have? I have, a, I have a fucking grappling hook on a rope. Robin, the gun is the weapon of the enemy. Yeah, because they fucking kick ass. I mean, just think about it. The next time we fight some goons, they're going to look at me and not think, wow, that guy's wearing a really tight Speedo. They're going to think, wow, don't fuck with Robin. That guy's got a gun. All right, all right, Robin, we'll, we'll talk about this. But for right now, let's just focus on what we came here for, you know, right? You guys, I just need to say, I really respect the communication skills that you two share. I feel like we both learned a lot and we felt heard, right? It reminds me a lot about what I've learned in Chapter 2 of Leo Landell's How to Talk to Anyone. It's a, it's a, it's a book I keep on me for these kinds of occasions. You see, on uh, Chapter 2, Leo discusses... He's got a book! <laughs> <laughs>